Francia Riza is killing him with kindness. The actress gets candid about dealing with online harassment amid rumored tension with Selena Gomez, to whom she donated a kidney to in 2017. About the hateful messages she's received, Francia tells TMZ, it's not good at all. It's not fun either. They are pretty bad, but I think the one that probably hurt the most was, I hope someone goes up your and rips out your other kidney, you effing whore. Although the 34-year-old isn't looking to dive further into the negativity, she wants haters to know that, quote, in no way, shape, or form does anyone condone bullying, especially Selena. In fact, Francia points out that the only murders in the building star, quote, has a nonprofit dedicated to mental health, and I believe Rare Beauty just had an event for mental health. She then admits, now I'm being bullied as I am and it's messing with me mentally. To me, it's not what anyone wants for someone. And she's literally out there saying, please stop. So I don't understand why it's not stopping. As she puts it, quote, not just for me, but for others who are also being antagonized online. However, Francia is blocking out the noise. She continues, I'm doing my best to not listen, to not read. I'm very happy and I'm living my life. I'm sending love to everyone. Francia's reflection comes days after she dodged questions about the status of her friendship with Selena, including whether or not she would ever follow her back on Instagram. Francia reportedly unfollowed Selena last November after the Grammy winner told Rolling Stone Taylor Swift was her, quote, only friend in the industry. At the time, fans speculated Francia was throwing shade under a post about the interview when she wrote, interesting, before later deleting the comment. However, Selena, who still follows Francia, has since shared her appreciation for her friend, explaining on Apple TV Plus's Dear, which aired in March, my best friend, her name is Francia. She said, no, I am absolutely getting tested. Within three days, she went to get tested and she was a match. And it was one of those moments where I felt watched over. I know I was so, so, so lucky.